Hey, welcome back to the Snyder Family Homestead. I just wanted to uh, do a little catch up on the garden and on the mobile chicken coop structure. Um, so I'm gonna flip you around. So for the people that have been watching about the mobile structure, um, I just moved it there uh, today. Um, that's where I just moved them from, I turned it. They were there for a couple days. There were a couple, there was a couple days prior. And then we start to trend back for that you guys that have seen the other video. That's where they were when I shot the last video about the mobile chicken coop. That's where they were the move, move before then. And the move before then. And there you can't even see anymore. Even all the way back there, you can no longer see where they moved. So, just like that, well, slow motion, well, kind of. Up to that, right there, over there. And this is what they've done today in a few short hours. This is, I drove through there earlier. That's nice lush green pasture to, to that. They've clipped it right down, matted it down, and ate all the nice tips off of it. They're still scratching around looking for bugs. Um, so, don't be hating on me. Uh, with all this rain we've gotten in Michigan lately, had a lot of rain and hot, and these weeds have just got completely out of control. Been a little lazy on the garden as well. We've been really busy with uh, travel softball and so on and so forth. Um, Want to give you a little what I know other videos, but I had to put up an electric fence to keep my the deer out of my garden they were just killing the corn i saw or i made a youtube video about that what the deer were doing to my corn i showed you and just look where the corn has where it has came where it's come from excuse me um last probably week and a half um where i put the fence up i got just a fence charger that's big enough for rabbits and chickens and um, since they're wild animals and they're not used to the electric fence, um, it works. Um, I haven't seen any deer tracks in here at all. I've seen some cat tracks, but you know, cats will do what cats do, as if if you know. So, update on the potatoes. Um, I couldn't keep up with the weeding just with four kids and working full time, a lot of overtime. I have a job that requires me to work an extensive amount of overtime. So I just couldn't keep up on the weeds. That's too much for the kids to keep up on. So I covered them with um, straw. Um, so to help keep the weeds down. And then when it gets hot out, I just don't want them to dry out. This, they're at the stage now where I really need to keep them moist. And these are my peppers. And if you look, I'll try to get it in there. You can see right there. I got a little bell pepper coming on. So, I got my pepper plants right here. One, two, three, four, five, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I got some more that I transplanted over here. Man, these mosquitoes are just killing me. They're terrible, 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 terrible. Um, I'll show you those real fast here. Uh, those are right there. I just got that nail stuck there so I wouldn't lose it and po puncture I, uh, a tractor tiber comes and plows the rest of this up. Like I said, I haven't been able to keep track or keep up on all the weeds, but flip you back around here so you can see my tomatoes. Look at this tomato here, this, this tomato vine. It's absolutely huge. And I got tomatoes. These are the Amish paste tomatoes. I got them coming on. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tomato plants. If they all, well, I got nine there. And then I got one, I think two here, maybe some more. Um, if those all come on, let me tell you what, I'm gonna have more, so so many darn tomatoes that I'm not gonna know what to do with. So anyway, uh, next here, the cantaloupes coming along. I got a lot of buds on the cantaloupe or um, flowers, blossoms. Coming along real good. 
really excited about that. I love muskmelon or cantaloupe, whatever you prefer. Plants are just doing amazing. I've been weeding around them. Like I said, I'm, like I said, I've just been really busy this year. I got a lot of going on with travel softball, a lot going on with the kids. So it's been hard to keep up on the garden as I'd planned to. But first year gardens, for the people that really garden a lot, first year gardens are really hard. If you don't keep up on them or spray for the weeds or prepare for it, but just going out and plowing up a stretch and then going in there and working up the ground a little bit, the weeds are absolutely horrible and you will have a hard time dealing with the weeds. Anyway, here's my watermelons. They're coming along, I got some blossoms, a lot of fresh new growth on those. Um, this is a row of my onions, they're doing all right. We weeded them a couple of times. Gotta weed them again, that's, I know I should have probably weeded before I started shooting this video, but that's just how life goes, really busy. I got my cucumbers growing over there. Don't worry about what's going on over there. That's some Indian corn that didn't quite do as good as I wanted because all the deer, they kept eating it up. And it was I planted it when it was super dry and it just didn't come up right. This year, I was going to be my pride and joy, but this is blood. Here, sorry, I'll flip you back around. It's bloody butcher corn. Aesthetically, it looks the exact same as all the other corn, but the corn is a red, produces a red corn. Um... I don't know why I grew it, but I just started finding varieties and I thought I would like it. That's what I got going on right now. Um, chickens started laying eggs. Um, got my first pull of eggs yesterday. Uh, we come out to check. Like I said, I wasn't expecting them, the chickens to start laying eggs. So um, some people commented on uh, TikTok that I needed to do some stuff. Put them, ouch, got poked. Um, uh, that needed to put them in a different structure. I do have a structure, but it's not quite done. But um, I need to put up the fence for it. But I wasn't expecting that. I thought I had another two weeks for it. But it came early. With that being early, I haven't had any chance to get any oyster shells or anything like that. So today when I come out, I found evidence that two more eggs were laid. But... Unfortunately, the chickens ate them. It's not because they didn't have food, because the food hopper holds 15 pounds of grain, and it was absolutely full. Um, we fed them chicken scraps this morning, and also uh, kitchen scraps. And then, uh, so that tells me that they needed the calcium. They knew it. They knew what they had to have, because animals are, they have a sense about themselves. So they, they know what they need. Um, obviously I failed them and I didn't provide them with what they need so uh, that's my fault I don't hold that against them at all um, I just got to do better uh, I'm a semi-professional farmer here and a semi-professional youtuber like I said before uh, but this video is starting to get long so what I'm gonna do is I had I've been saving uh, eggshells from all my cooking and so on and so forth um, I had fed that to them and they instantly went over there probably about five dozen eggshells worth, um, maybe a couple pounds of eggshells. I fed them and they ate pretty much all of them. So that tells me that they were calcium deficient. Um, I'll probably be, I'll feed the rest of the eggshells that I have for them and I'll be buying some oyster shells. Um, crushed oyster shell, that's what I like to feed them. I have had good luck when I was younger raising them and that's what I fed them. Um, free choice They're just like their feet it's free choice but thanks for stopping by the snyder family homestead uh, have a good night